Welcome to the Fantasy Space Project. This will be Project 4. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start a new file first. And it might look different on yours, but we're just going to do print. And we want that to be 11 wide by 8.5 tall. And we're going to hit create. So it's that landscape. It's the one we've been using the whole time. All right, nice. So you got your background layer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a Google page and I'm going to type in right here planet surface, right? Pretty easy. You're going to get lots of tons, of tons of great stuff. Um, let's get a little different than my example, but let's try this one. Oh, it's got that watermark on it. We don't want that. Let's try this one. So remember, you're just going to right-click on that image. You're going to go Copy Image. And go back to your canvas. You go Edit, Paste. Wow, that's a pretty good one. Sometimes they're not great. Okay, so then you're going to hit, you're going to go Edit, Transform, Scale. One more time, edit, transform, scale. And then remember you get these little anchor points. So when I grab on there, if I hold shift, it'll keep it the same size. So I'm trying to get it pretty close. And then I'm gonna take my hand off shift and I'm just gonna stretch it a little bit. Nice. So we'll call this layer. Remember I want you to name all your layers. Surface. It's just a good habit to get into. Okay, so I'm a big Rick and Morty fan, so I'm going to find one of Rick. Rick. From Rick and Morty. It's got a lot of good stuff. Um, so you want something with kind of a plain background. Preferably a head to toe. So we've got something cool here. We got him with this portal gun. And I'm going to do a copy image, right? Go back here, go edit, paste. And it automatically puts Rick in there. Right? On a new layer. So let's call this one Rick. Now, this is where it gets weird or great. Grab that magic wand. See it right there? I'm going to select on Rick. And it's selecting all the white around him. And I'm just going to press delete. And it's gone. And then we've got this negative space where his arm is. I'm just going to delete that. Nice. So now we have Rick. We've got this little artwork here we don't want. So remember, we're going to use that marquee tool. Grab it. And hit backspace. It's gone. So now we have Rick on a layer, right? And we can just grab that move tool. And then if we want to scale Rick, we go edit, transform, scale. Because I feel like I want him a little bit bigger. All right, there he is. He looks great. Okay. So my other project, I'm a big Star Wars nerd. And this is my favorite spaceship. It's called the Snow Speeder. This one's great. Remember, if it has this checkerboard background, there's a really good chance that it's a transparent background. So these are kind of ideal. I'm going to copy it. Copy image. Remember, you're doing copy image. So you right click, copy image. Come back here, go edit, transform. Oh, sorry. <laughs> edit, paste. This is really great. You always want huge images. This is like great quality. So let's name this snow speeder. Right. And then what are we going to do next? We're going to scale it. Transform scale. And remember if we hold shift, it keeps it even. Right. Undo that. 
Move it. Teach you a shortcut key. Your first shortcut key. I think it's going to be... <laughs> on a Mac, it's Control-T. Nice. So, there it is. Control-T. Remember, if I grab that anchor point and I don't hit Shift, it squishes it. We don't want to squish, so I undid it. I press Control-Z. Nice. So now we got the spaceship flying. And like in my example, I thought it'd be funny if uh, it had some rainbow dust behind it, right? I can't remember what I typed on it. So it says. Uh, let's do rainbow. I think I'll just do rainbow. Man, I had a really good example before. I don't know where it went. Hold up. Transparent. Rainbow transparent. That was it. Okay. So I clicked on this one. And I right clicked on it. Copy image. New shortcut key. Control V. There it is. You go edit. Transform. Edit. <laughs> okay, there it is. So we know we want to get rid of the white. So I go back here and I grab the magic wand and I select the white. Boom, gone. Now you do control T and scale it. Again, it's edit. Oh shit. Edit, transform, scale. Remember, scale, you can rotate it too. Remember, as soon as that arrow turns around or curved. Huh. There we go. And if I put the rainbow, let's name it rainbow. Slide it behind the speeder. Now it's coming behind there, right? And we can adjust the scale of it. Nice. I don't remember what I did next. Um, I think I just grabbed another, added another character. So let's do Ninja Turtle. I think my search was TMNT before. Copy this image. Go back to my canvas to edit, paste. There he is, so I move tool. Oh, I did them twice, I'll delete one of them. Okay, so I'm gonna move my Ninja Turtle down. Name him TMNT. Okay, here's a new trick. If you, you grab the magic wand, right? And if you hold down shift, you can select multiple sections. So nice, now I got, he is done. He looks great. I was thinking, what if we put a cloud of smoke behind him so I could just do dust cloud, right? So he's like, it looks like he's in an action sequence. Click on this one. Right click. Come back. Hit edit paste. 
And remember, if I grab that magic wand again, come over here, magic wand, select, delete. Nice. So let's call this dust. And I'll bring this down. And then I'm going to put it behind his behind him. You'll put it behind his foot. So it looks like he's kind of shooting his foot off. Okay. Looks great. All right. So let's add another planet. Let's do strange planet fantasy. There's a lot of good ones. Okay. This one's really cool. Mm, but it's got that giant watermark in there, so we don't want that. Let's grab this one, copy image, edit, paste. That easy. There it is. Nice. So the magic wand tool, same thing. You can go here and you just click on that black. It's an amazing tool and you'll use it all the time. Now I'm going to do control D to deselect it and then edit transform scale or command T, command transform. Nice. So if we put it behind Rick, nice, it gives it a whole other quality. So Rick has that portal gun. What if we made, found a Rick and Morty portal? Rick and Morty portal. Nice. Oh, this one will be fun. Okay, let's right click on there, copy image, and we'll do control V or edit, paste. I grab it. Look at that. Okay, so now we got Rick in there. But what we want to do is we want to skew or go transform. And I think it's skew. Let's try it. No, it's not skew. Sorry, escape. We'll do edit, transform, distort. Yeah, cool. We can add some dimension to it. Now it looks like it's flat. I'm going to enter that. So nice. I think what I want to do next is we'll name this portal. But let's make, you know how Rick goes through these portals. Let's move Rick down. And we want to make it look like he's coming out of that portal. So we're going to grab the rest of that by using that backspace button, right? Or delete. So I'm going to bring Rick Rick up. Oh, his feet are still there. We'll, we'll fix that. Or that's kind of cool too. Like he's kind of half and in and out of that portal. So let's save. We haven't saved in a while. So we'll do save as on your computer. I'm going to call this, you guys are B2 or B3. My last name, McGuire. Call this. Let's call it pro Project 5. Or no, sorry, Project 4. And remember where you save it. I'm trying to get you guys to save it on your desktop. So let's save. There it is. So right now, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six seven eight now i know you guys love snacks so i thought maybe we could add a vending machine on there let me see you want <clears throat> you want something with a little bit of dimension so let's find one that has a kind of an angle oh this is cool it looks pretty good copy image come back edit paste And then let's 
and I grab the magic wand, I click on the white, hit backspace, that's gone. Nice, I'm gonna put it behind there. So we've got some good stuff going on here. Let's add, let's go back here and add, let's just do weird, weird clouds. Oh, wow. Got some good ones. Let's do sci fi clouds. This looks pretty great. Whoa. Holy cow. <laughs> That's great. All right, let's grab this one. I'm going to copy image. I don't think it's going to cause me very good, but we'll go edit. Paste. Yeah, it's horrible, but you just do it up here or something. I'm scaling it. Maybe I'll just get rid of some of this stuff we don't need and I use that lasso tool remember it's it's pretty good it's a great tool maybe I'll just put it at the end of the rainbow so this is a good start let's call that one cloud and I remember I had a student um, do some really cool drop shadow stuff. So that's something we can think about. Um, but this is a great start. Remember, everything needs to be on a separate layer. Let's review that real quick. A, um, layers that are all titled. So this is, oh, this is our moon. But it looks great. I'm going to post this to YouTube. Take your time. Remember, right click, copy, and then edit, paste. Or you can do control C, copy, or Control B paste. Guys are doing a great job. Photoshop is frustrating, but you got this. <laughs>